Here we have a 2007 on an 07 registration Cetra S416 GTHD 48 seat executive coach. Registration number gives away its previous home, uh, being Isle of Wight Tours. It's the third vehicle we've advertised in 12 months with an OWT registration. Sold one, still got one for sale, and then we've got this one. And do you know what? When you've been doing or been in the industry as long as I have, you get a nose for certain things. And as soon as I got in this, my nose went Crusader and bit of googling and it confirms that this vehicle was new to Crusader Holiday so it's had an easy life really when you think about it um, we've sort of moved away from where I want to be but you can see we've got a power operated centre continental door fitted I want to say Euro 4 but I'm going to double check it might be Euro 5 normally they have a little blue tech badge on the bike but it's obviously been repainted at some point and never replaced but I've got a couple. I've had a couple more O7 Crusaders. I want to check what they are because they'll all be the same. But obviously, Mercedes engine driven through uh, ZF automated 12-speed AS-Tronic gearbox, reverse cameras fitted. We also have these uh, kind of four alloy wheel trims. Always a good amount of luggage. I mean, you only have to look underneath, look at the dashboard and everything else, and we all know it's a Turismo with a different front and back on, isn't it? Unfortunately, it was Turismo that killed the Cetra brand in the UK. More of that shortly. But plenty of luggage space. We'll jump on board, and we have 48 reclining seats with lever headrest inserts, lap belts, the sideways movement, trace to the seat backs. We've also got a carpet to the aisle. And the reason I said Turismo killed Cetra, it's quite simple. Turismo came into the UK 2007, I think. I think the last two rows were 2006. And it was brought in as a budget option to the Cetra. But what the dealers then did was oh well can I have looks line seats of course you can can I have a wood floor of course you can can I have this can I have that can I have the other and by the time you've finished you got internally etc but with a different front and back on and a three-pointed star which as I've said many times passengers will know more what a Mercedes Benz is than etc so let's just get back to where we are center sunken toilet Hot drinks facility, we're also wired for DVD with two monitors, we're fully air conditioned. So yeah, you then add essentially one of these with a different front and bad back on and a badge that people instantly associated with prestige vehicles, but for a considerably less, a considerably smaller amount of money than you'd pay for a Cetra. So people just bought Turismo's instead and eventually, you know, um, Daimler Benz took the view that there's no point in building Cetra's right hand drive anymore. We'll just give them a Turismo with some sexy add ons. And we all know the rest. As you can see, same dash as a Turismo. Everything exactly in the same place as a Turismo. This isn't killed with mileage, mind. Less than 750,000 kilometres. Fridge in the dash. Crew seat. To be honest, for not a lot of money, a very, very smart coach. You know, um, where I place this is with someone who's maybe decided to take the plunge at being a coach operator and wants something sexy but doesn't have a lot of money to spend. This is the sort of thing that will tick that box. So, to recap, it's 2007 on an 07, Cetra S416 GTHD. 48 seat executive coach.